Hi friends! In this video, we will show you how to configure basic settings regarding WAN in Nivan. Nivan gets internet connectivity through its WAN port. There are two types of WAN connectivity, Ethernet and wireless. There is a physical Ethernet WAN port to which you can connect any service provider's internet connection. For wireless WAN in Nivan, there are two options. One is 3G activated mobile SIM cards, and another one is 3G USB dongle. Before we start the configuration, let's have a quick view at some important points. Default IP address of WAN port of Nivan is 192.168.1.1. Default IP address of LAN port of Nivan is 192.168.2.56. Default SE, System Engineer Password, is 1234. Default SA, System Administrator Password, is 1111. Let's see how to configure the WAN settings. To configure settings in Nivan, you will have to connect a computer to any of the WAN or LAN port using the respective default IP address to open Web GUI of Nivan and then log in as System Engineer with the password. First of all, let's start with the Ethernet WAN settings. By clicking on the LAN and WAN tab, you can configure LAN and WAN settings. Now you will have to select the connection type. This is for the main network connection to which Nivan is connected means if Nivan is connected to service provider and getting a fixed IP address, then you will have to select static in this field. Again, if service provider is providing DHCP connection, then select DHCP over here. If you have connected any broadband of any service provider and if it is providing PPPoE connection, then select PPPoE over here. For a static connection, assign the IP address and other credentials like subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS address as provided by the service provider. For DHCP connection, the service provider will assign IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway automatically. If you enable the flag of Get DNS Automatically, then DNS IP address will be automatically assigned by the service provider. Else, if you don't want this, you can configure the primary and secondary DNS address manually. For PPPoE connection, you will have to enter the PPPoE user ID, PPPoE password, and PPPoE service name as provided by the service provider. These were for the Ethernet WAN settings. Now we will see the settings for wireless WAN. Go to Wireless WAN, W WAN, where you will get some fields to enter. One is GSM UMTS channel, and the other one is USB dongle, depending on the variant of Nivan. Means if any variant of Nivan doesn't support 3G platform, then in that variant there would not be any field for GSM UMTS to be entered. Suppose you have Nivan CNX2083 3G2, you will get two channels for GSM UMTS. Let us suppose you have a Vodafone 3G SIM card, which is installed in Nivan's first mobile port. Then, under GSM UMTS Channel 1, enter the service provider's access point name in the Access Point field. As per the example we have taken, it will be Portal NMMS. In the Number to Dial field, enter the dial-up number provided by the service provider. Here it will be star 99 star 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 1 hash. You can keep the rest fields blank under GSM UMTS channel 1 for Vodafone connection. All these details will vary with respect to various service providers. Again, suppose you have a 3G USB data card also, and then under USB dongle, enter the required credentials, same as you have entered in the previous case. Now, if you are using all three types of Internet connection, Ethernet WAN, GSM UMTS channel, and USB dongle, then which service is to be given the highest priority for active connection? For this, click on Active WAN, and then you can select the WAN connectivity according to the priority as per your requirement. Here, let's select Ethernet WAN in Priority 1, 
GSM UMTS USB dongle in priority 2 and GSM UMTS channel 1 in priority 3. Moreover, if the active WAN connection which you are using is down or unavailable, you can switch on to other type of WAN connection. For this, you will have to enable the flag of fallback to another priority when connection is unavailable. You can even switch over to the main internet connection from the fallback connection once the link is up by enabling the flag of switch back to priority 1 when connection is available. You can enter the required server domain name, which can be either an IP address or a domain name to which the system will connect to check the internet connectivity. Here, for example, we will enter www.google.com. Interval, sec, field is an expiry timer after which Nivon will try again to connect to the defined server. System domain name is the name, if configured, Nivon will use in sending and receiving SIP messages, else it will use WAN or LAN IP address. Before we proceed to Dyne DNS settings, let us see what the Dyne DNS or Dynamic DNS is. If Nivon is getting DHCP or PPPoE connection from the service provider, then it is well known that its IP address will keep on changing. So how will a caller know about the present IP address of Nivon? To solve this problem, Dynamic DNS is used. This is a feature which helps in updating the IP addresses to a particular domain name. In Nivon, there is a Dyne DNS client which is associated with a service known as DyneDNS.org. This service will automatically update the present IP address of Nivon with a fixed host name each time. So whatever the present IP address of the Nivon is, caller can reach Nivon easily by using its host name, which will always be the same. To use this feature, you must register an account with host name and follow the mentioned steps. Enable the checkbox under Dyne DNS settings. Enter the host name you created in the DyneDNS.org. Suppose you have given Matrix as the host name. Enter the user ID and password you created on DyneDNS.org. If you want Nivon to update its IP address in the Dyne DNS at an interval of 10 minutes, then enable the flag of Check Periodically, else if you want the interval time to be other than 10 minutes, then enable the flag of Forcefully Update and enter the timer, Day. This is the timer after which Nivon will update its IP address in the Dyne DNS. By default, that timer is 7 days. If in case you want to update the IP address by yourself, click on the Click Here to Update Manually button. We hope you are now clear with the configuration. Thank you for watching this video. For further queries, please contact Matrix Technical Support Team.